Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's math problem of the week says solve. We have three X times one fourth plus one third divided by two. Well, this problem has multiple operations. I see multiplication, addition, and division. So I know that I'm gonna use order of operations. So I've written PEMDAS up at the top to help me remember the order that I need to take to solve these problems. And following along with my PEMDAS, I'm gonna check to see if I have any P or parentheses, and I do right here in the center. So I'm gonna start by solving the 1 4th plus 1 3rd portion of the problem only. So I have 1 4th plus 1 3rd, and I need to get a common denominator. So I'm gonna ask myself, what number can 4 and 3 go into? And ideally, the smallest number is gonna be the best because it's gonna allow us to work with smaller numbers and not have to simplify at the end. And I know that the answer is gonna be 12. So I ask myself to go from four to 12, what do I need to multiply four by? Well, you would multiply it by three. And whatever you multiply a denominator by, you have to multiply a numerator by when you're finding an equivalent fraction. So this fraction is gonna end up turning into three over 12. Now I'm gonna add that to whatever I end up with over here. And again, I need to make this three into a 12. So I have to ask myself, three times what gives me 12. So now because I know that I need to multiply both of these by four, the three times the four gives me the 12 and then the one times the four gives me four. Now I'm gonna add my numerator straight across and I get seven and the denominator remains the same. Now I'm gonna solve the whole problem again, except instead of writing the fractions that are inside the parentheses, I'm gonna write seven twelfths to replace that part. So that means I'm gonna have three times seven twelfths divided by two. Now I'm gonna continue on with order of operations and it asks, do I have any exponents? I do not, so I don't need to worry about that. Do I have multiplication or division? These happen at the same time in order from left to right. It doesn't matter which one you get to first. And when I look at my problem, I can see that yes, I do. I have multiplication here and I have division here. So I'm gonna multiply these and divide these straight across. That means three, times seven over 12, I'm gonna make the three into a fraction. And so that means put it over one. And the three times the seven is 21. And the one times the 12 is 12. Now I've solved this portion of the problem. Now I'm just gonna rewrite the divided by two. So to save space, I've erased my slide and I'm left with 21 over 12 divided by two. Now, because I know I'm dividing fractions, I want both of my numbers to be fractions. So I'm gonna make the second whole number a fraction by putting it over one. Now I'm gonna remember the rule, keep it, change it, flip it. So I'm gonna keep this the same, change this and flip this. So 21 over 12 times one over two. Now I'm gonna multiply straight across and I get 21 over 24. Now I have to ask myself, can something go into both 21 and into the 24? Yes three can. So I'm going to divide by three on both the top and the bottom. So, so I'm going to divide by three on both the top and the bottom. And I have 21 divided by three, which is seven and 24 divided by three, which is eight. So my final answer for this problem is seven eighths. Here's next Tuesday's math problem of the week. See if you can solve it before I do, but don't forget to head over to Super Easy Math where you can get my top five math tips to make learning math easy, access to a live math tutor who can help you with all your math needs, and all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.